friends, welcome to the channel. It's Michelle, your practical priestess here at Divinely Genuine. So we're here to do y'all summer 2018 tarot reading. Woo! Yay for summer! So I've already blessed the deck, communed with spirit, and um, am ready to cut them on camera. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, I'm using the Carolyn Miss archetype cards. And, uh, sorry. And the Tarot Illuminati. All right, cool. It is finished, let's see what we got. starting with the princess of pentacles i love how this art is on this card it's such a fiery card you guys can see it so the princess of pentacles she can see in the pic she's uh, in the pic <laughs> on the art she's uh got wheat in her hand as if she's collected her her trade, her resources. Um, pentacles represent our value and self-worth and what we have then reflected um, in the mundane world and the practical. So in terms of like our resources and means of exchange. So let's see what the princess and then the court cards and tarot as I'm learning tarot, can represent people in our lives. So anyway, this is an elemental reading for air signs for the summer 2018. And so obviously it's for Gemini, Aquarius, and Libras, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Princess of Pentacles is the womb of the world. Fertility in the everyday world, fruitful foundations, physical health, immense potential and possibility contained in the most innocuous way things, its awakenings and new beginnings in life. Somebody ready to bring fullness into their life, an eternal student, okay? Awakenings and new beginnings. Somebody ready to bring fullness into life. All right. Good, good. Good, good. The advice card, backing that up, is the student card. It is reversed. The way I read it is that it's going to take on a more inward state. So you are feeling like a student as you are embarking on these new beginnings air signs during the summer. Um... The student archetype card, Light Attribute, says humility and devotion to knowledge, openness to lifelong learning, okay? So that's twice, talking about being an, a lifelong student. I think that's very typical of Earth signs, too. Um, we're very, like, in our heads. Um, lots of ideas, lots of thinking, lots of um, intellectual stimulation. Um, and keep in mind, like, you have all, you can't really see this chart, but it's a, it's a natal birth chart. So we have all 12 signs somewhere in our chart. Like, you're made up of all the elements, all four elements, you know? So your air signs are, are, um, like, if you're a Libra sun and that's why you're here, you also have Aquarius and Gemini somewhere in your chart, as well as the fire signs and la la la. And so I'm saying that because, you know, if you, obviously if it's one of your first, your main three, sun, moon, or ascendant being an air sign, then you will be intellectual or analytical or, you know, just a, a thinker. 
Um, but like, like you're still you can be very grounded, you know, with the earth energy in your chart, you can still be very passionate and have fire, you know, um, because that's in your chart as well. Um, you can be very intuitive as well because with the water signs, you know, we all have them. So don't think that you are just a thinker and that you can't take action on things or can't be bold or can't be down to earth or can't be intuitive or empathic or emotional. You know, we're all made up of all of the elements. So anywho, um, <laughs> um, so, okay, lifelong student, humility and devotion to knowledge, cool, very cool, openness to lifelong learning. Shadow sides of the student card are arrogance and the pursuit of destructive knowledge. Unwillingness to translate knowledge into action. Yes, like we do have to push ourselves as air signs, I feel like. A little more to especially like for Libra like to stop thinking and overthinking and do it take action and during the summer Mars is in retrograde which is our drive our um, the planet that drives us that gives us the take action um, energy and so when it's in retrograde we have to try a little harder okay we may not feel as strongly to take those first steps or as driven or ambitious as normal you know and it depends on your chart and it depends on the aspects of the day and all this stuff you know but it will be in retrograde um okay so be willing to take action on what you learn over the summer air signs be willing to take action to these new beginnings that the Princess of Pentacles is showing us. Um, because it, she is representing fertility in the everyday world. So you're giving birth to something new this summer. And new beginnings in life. Um, and this knowledge may have to do with like your honest being in a new sign as well. It may be very like awakening energy. Um is what the Princess of Pentacles is also saying. We have a Prince of Wands here. It's reversed, so that'll take on a more inward state. Prince of Wands. Um, so Wands typically represent air signs and ideas. Again, the courtyards um, can represent people in our lives as well. Uh, Prince of Wands is the adventure of passion. So maybe since it's, um, we were speaking about passion just now, maybe since it's um, reversed, it's kind of reflecting as we were just speaking about Mars being retrograde and therefore our passion being a little um, calmer than normal, not as... Um, I feel like Mars retrograde will be intense. I don't feel like the tensi intensity will be less. Um, however, because it is seemingly at a standstill and not moving forward, thus our drive, there may be some resistance in us moving forward is how I'm, you know, getting it. Um, a thrill seeker. An impetuous, mischievous person, a firecracker personality, seeking sexual stimulation, searching for trade and renown, a boaster, a jack of all trades, never ending advent adventure, following your passion. Yes, we want to definitely follow your passion. So, all of this you're feeling inward, okay? So, you're feeling like you just want to like follow that passion. Um, you never want that to end. You're sexually stimulated. Um, you're feeling this inwardly. Okay. You're wanting to seize the day. You have a lot of passion, passion brewing on the inside. We also have another reverse card representing more inward state, and it's the priest. Light attributes facilitate spiritual commitments. Serves as a channel of spiritual energy. Beautiful. Okay, so you're feeling driven by passions. You're feeling spiritually channeled and led during the summer. 
The shadow side of the priest card is violates the trust of your spiritual community. Seduced by your own spiritual role. Um, so as we become awakened, I feel like we um, um, become aware of so much, right? And part of what we become aware of is that we embody not only light, but we also embody dark. All of us. We are all capable of doing awful things. It depends on which wolf you're feeding, right? Um, you know, the more you think of negative, the more negative you will become. The more negative you will attract, okay? The more you surround yourself around negativity, the same thing. The more you will become negative, okay? Um, we compromise, you know? We compromise as we, um, we compromise as we, like, with who we associate with and the company we keep. We start compromising our own, um, boundaries, our own morals and ethics. Um, so you don't want to violate the trust of like your spiritual community, of your friends, of your fans, of your, you know, people who will actually have your back um, for the sake of being in the moment for some, you know, more lower shadow side, darker type energy, right? Um, we're all capable of this, and it can happen like that, you know? We could go into a relationship, and I'm not exactly speaking love, any kind of relationship. We can go into just a conversation and go into it with a good, clean, pure heart. And, you know, we may start to change as that relationship evolves. We may start to not see... Um, cheating as bad as we once did or um what else you know stealing or you know whatever it is whatever it is and i'm not the one to say cheating is the thing blah, 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 but you know whatever <laughs> to each his own okay i'm not here to be the judge um but i'm trying to give examples of how we can you know you just have to mind your stuff because we can easily slip into our shadow side okay simply put all right Moving on, we've got the Four of Cups. Okay. Now, the Four in astrology represents the House of Cancer, which represents the home and family. Also, your innermost, deepest part of yourself. Okay. Cups typically represent emotions. Four of Cups is the closed doors of heart, all right? So, since I brought up Awakening as the Princess of Pentacles um, brought it up, touched on it a bit, um, and now we're there, what I want to say is sometimes when we become awakened, like in a spiritual awakening, or just become more aware of our environment, our actions, what we're consuming, the actions we're taking, past actions we've taken that have led to certain consequences now, la 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 la. Um, we may close our, our, our hearts a bit, you know, um, due to realizing the nature of people, you know. And, um, it's normal, it's okay for a time, I feel, as you heal, but if you do not heal, you will be that one person. You will be that person that is sad and alone in a bar, you know, sad and alone at their house, um, you know, you will, you will protect your heart, but you will miss out on so much right? It's pointless to live that way. It's okay for a time. It is okay for a time. By all means, it's needed. You know, you can't just have a, in my opinion, you know, 
and take it lightly. My opinion is it should not really carry any weight except for my own life. But, um, in my opinion, it is needed for a time, you know? I don't feel like we should walk through life with this huge open heart um, all the time. But I do think that we should walk through life that way most of the time. I do. Um, it's risky. But what is the point? What is the point if you're not feeling it? If you're not feeling the excitement, the love, the pain as well, so that you appreciate the love, um, we then kind of take away our humanity when we take away the heart, in my opinion. Let's go back to the card. So it's the closed doors of the heart, past hurts leading to denial, despondency, denial's no good. Um, you can, people get caught in denial for years, for lifetimes, and then, you know, can you imagine when they awaken to this and like 20 years has passed? Um, before I became a, awakened, and it's not like you become awakened one day, but like it's a gradual thing that happens in a pretty short amount of time, I feel like. Um, I was feeling very stuck. I got to a point where I felt stuck, and it was the weirdest feeling. It was very prominent, and I was not comfortable with it. I had never felt that way in my life, and that's when spirits like, you gotta move. There's gotta be some kind of change happen. And then came like, and it will, so I don't want to go into my whole thing, but like, what I was getting at is like, thank God that I'm a person who tries to stay connected and listen to my heart because what if I would have like stayed in that stuck place? Ugh. Like it would have been so miserable. It would have been so like, no, I just can't do it. Like no way. So you don't want to, you know, you don't want to wake up and, and I had already lost time where I could have like, I could have moved sooner, not like literally moved but like made changes in life sooner to not get to that stuck point, you know? But um, sometimes, you know, we compromise what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing half the time, right? <laughs> so um, I think I'm totally getting off subject. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm trying to say is don't let time pass you up and, you know, and lose yourself and your heart in a stuck, type situation. You're never stuck. The truth is you never are. Emotions are meant to guide you, but they they change with the moon. They do. Nothing is set in stone. You're never stuck. All is well. All will be okay. Close your heart for a time. Process. Heal. Open that heart back up for opportunity, for connections, right? Miss, uh, missing opportunities due to dwelling on sadness or the past, being closed to love, emotional stagnation, feelings of boredom, feeling like you have been dealt a bad hand. And this is where us air signs can get in like the wrong like energy. We cannot be so up here. And it is a challenge, you know. You have to try a little more when you're an, an air sign to um, be sure you're not just in your head, you know, be active, you know, make your stuff happen. And by all means, open your heart back up. We've got the scribe card backing this up. <clears throat> the light attribute is preserving knowledge and information. Um, okay, so, you know, maybe as opening your heart back up, you can start writing poetry or songwriting or um, a book or just a diary of your experience to help that heart heal and open up more. I know for me, I'm a writer and I'm an air sign. I have, I have lots of air in my chart. And um, but we have it all. We have everything. I'm also grounded. I'm also... I'm very intuitive, and I'm also very passionate, so don't like limit yourself to thinking you're just your three signs, because you are not, but it helps to learn ourselves, and um, writing does help me as an air sign. Now, the scribe's shadow side 
is altering facts or plagiarizing others' work. Um, hey man, you reap what you sow. If you want that karma, go for it. But I'm trying to evolve and get better with each lifetime. I don't know about you. So yeah, I won't uh, keep that bad juju away. <laughs> All right, air signs, let's reiterate. So with the princess of pentacles, new beginnings and knowledge, awakenings, lifelong learning, as well as with the student card, lifelong learning, humility and devotion to knowledge during the summer. We've got the priest card facilitating the spiritual connection and being a channel for spirit, as well as the Prince of Wands having the passion to pursue the passion. And these are both reverse, so this was being felt inwardly that you are a passionate channel connected to spirit as you're learning and embarking on new adventures. And then you're learning to heal that closed heart through writing. All right, air signs. I love you guys. Thank you all so much for the support. I hope that it serves you well. Um, let's see. I hope you guys have a great summer. Thanks for all the support. Love you guys so much. Peace, love, light. See ya.